Hello everyone and welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over the practice actually that we had in the last video. So the practice, if you don't remember, was the online store. All right. And now we are actually going to implement this. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Well, the first acceptance criteria is that a user can purchase an item using the online store. So let's go ahead and we'll make a static function right here. We'll call it welcome. All right. And then this will just say console.writeLine. Um, welcome to the store. Here are, oh, well, store. Here are the items that you can buy. All right, so now we have a, a welcome method right here we can use. Um, and then what about the items? Each item must contain a unique, must contain unique properties. Each item will contain a title and a price. Okay, so let's give the user um, some options here. And we'll just make this very basic. We'll just keep using a couple of right lines here. Um, so what should be the items? We'll go a book, um, something else. Probably something clothing. Let's do shirt and then um, computer. Okay. So we have three very basic, very different items, uh, very basic, all of which will contain a price and a title. So let's see, let's do another console dot right line. And we'll say, what would you like to buy? All right. So now we have that set up, we need to make a couple of classes. So we can say class, base, item, and then we'll have a couple of properties here. We can say string, title, oops, all right. And then public string price. All right, so, now we're making this base item because if you notice, it said each item will contain a title and a price. So there's no point in duplicating code. Um, so we can just use this base item to implement this title and a price. So each item will contain or must contain unique properties as well. So let's go ahead and make a couple of classes then. So one for book. And then the unique property will be to a string um, author and then the next um, object will be a shirt and then the property will be the size and then the next class we will make will be of course for this computer. All right. So we can just do another public string type. Get get set. All right. And then of course all of these will inherit from base item since each item will need a title and a price. Okay, so now we're set to go. All of that is actually set up for us now um, as far as purchasing a specific item. Um, so it will contain a title and a price. It has unique properties. Now each item must be displayed for the user to choose. So um, each item of course is displayed. Now the last one we really need to do is the user can purchase an item using the online store. That's really the last um, um, acceptance criteria we have for this program to be um, ready to be approved by the product owner. So now we can say static void um, 
Now that we're going to say purchase item. All right. So what item would you like to buy? Var item equals read line. Whoops. Console dot read line. Perfect. All right. Now we can do a switch statement. We can say item in here. All right. And then case um, book. Um, we can then say break. So we can make a couple of these. Default break. All right. So book shirt and then computer. And there is a typo right here. All right. So now in here we can say if it's a book, then we can say. Let's see, string, let's make a couple of uh, uh, variables right here. Actually, let's do this. If it's a book, then we're going to make our own book right here. So var um, book equals new book. All right, so book dot author equals um, JK author. All right, and then book dot title equals um, the wizard of coding. All right, and then book dot price equals nine, let's see, oh, this is a string, we should make this a double. All right, so we can just do nine, nine, nine. All right, and then we're gonna break right there. So shirt is going to be same deal, bar shirt equals new shirt. So shirt dot um, so size equals medium shirt dot title equals um, sports shirt shirt dot price equals um, fifty. Uh, 1499 alright um, and then the computer is we'll make another object for that computer computer equals new computer alright and then we can just say computer dot type equals PC Computer dot title equals um, we can just do surface book book pro. All right, and then computer dot type. Oh, wait a minute, where did type? So we can do price is going to be, I don't know, 14 dollars All right. So then we can say um, console dot right line. Um, well, let's do string concatenation right here. You purchased a 
let's see, title, computer, dot title, all right, and then let's do computer again, computer dot um, type, for computer dot price. Okay, so let's do that. We have this console right line. We can just copy that and then put it in here as well. Um, we can break this up a little bit. All right, so instead of computer, we're going to do shirt dot title shirt dot size and then shirt dot price all right and then we'll do the same thing here cut that in half and then book title and then change type to author you purchased a Wizard of Coding by oops by boom for you purchased a sports shirt sized boom for all right so let's give this a shot all right what would you like to buy well wait a minute it didn't run. It's because our method isn't called. So we can just say welcome and then underneath welcome purchased item. So we run that again. All right, well, uh, interesting. Welcome to the store. Here's some items that you can buy. Book, shirt, computer. What would you like to buy? Book. All right, you purchased a the Wizard of Coding by JK Author for $9.99. Nice. So I'm now able to buy the book. Am I able to buy the shirt? Let's give it a shot. Shirt. You purchased a sports shirt sized. All right, wait a minute. Sized. Let's take that out. All right, sized medium for $14.99. Awesome. So that worked. We had a little typo, but it worked. And then what about the computer? Computer. You purchase a Surface Book Pro PC for $1,500. I have no idea if that's the price or not. I just kind of went with it. But the point is, is now this is, it, this is gross. <laughs> going to be honest. Um, this case right here, we could have made this cleaner. But I just threw this together um, based on the acceptance criteria, and it works. Let's go over the acceptance criteria one more time. Um, user can purchase an item using the online store. Check. Each item must be displayed for the user to, you, to choose. Check. And, of course, that is right here. Each item is displayed. Um, and the user is able to actually make a purchase because the purchase item function gets the item and then checks what, what object it is and then it fills in the properties for the user. All right, and then each item will contain a title and a price. Check. We have our base item, title and price. All right, and then each must also contain unique properties, which is what we have right here. Type, size, and author for each specific item. Well. Um, uh, but the book, of course, has the author, the shirt has the size, and the computer has the type. So that's it. We have met all of the acceptance criteria. Um, this switch statement, of course, can be broken up um, and possibly made into a better function. Um, there's, different, there's definitely different ways to make this cleaner. However, I wanted to um, choose the simplest implementation um, for this practice. So um, your solution is very likely better than mine. However, um, of course, this works, and this is 
one of the easiest ways to actually implement this. I challenge you that if you did not do this um, challenge that you actually take this code and reformat it, make it look better, make this, um, turn these, maybe turn this case maybe into its own function, or maybe you'd have one function that does all of this and you just pass in the parameters to generate all of this for you. So, of course, um, definitely clean this up if you haven't, um, if, or if yours looks like this, definitely give it a shot. But this is a very quick and easy way on how you can actually do this, and it covers um, the main points of um, the object-oriented programming course that we went over. So thanks for watching this. Hopefully you watched the course as well. If you did, thanks for that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next course.